yo new to the channel like comment subscribe share this shit gang hey real quick though um i saw a little video yesterday uh x-man rico dropped this video shout out x-man rico i fuck with his content folks be you know what i'm saying he doing that with the uh on the video side but um he dropped a video if y'all didn't see it about jh jhe ruga being a, a singer <laughs> before he started rapping and got on the drill shit. Um, this is pretty much not a new story though. Like we been New Year's ago, Ruga, you know what I'm saying, was a singer. Like that's what he did. He tried to get on with the singing shit, didn't work out for him. So he switched over to drill. Of course his cousin do drill rap, bow, I'm finna fuck with it too. Shit, I don't see no problems with it. Um, I don't think he really was trying to shit on Ruger, he was saying some little jokes and shit, which was funny as hell to me, but I'm like, shit, folk, he, he played the clip too when Ruger was singing like he had a little show or whatever, a talent show, I guess, or whatever. Um, and folks really can blow. Pause. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Ruger, you damn there sing better than you rap, folk. <laughs> but I understand why, you know what I'm saying, he switched up. Duck probably came to him like, folk, you need to get on this rap shit with me. That singing shit, I mean, you could do it later on, but like, you multi talented to me, like, that's what's up. A nigga can sing and he can rap, he ain't doing shit. All you motherfuckers love Drake, and that's exactly what he doing. So, folks sing every song, like, got that nigga think he a certified level boy. I'm like, folks, you rich. <laughs> Any nigga that's rich is a certified level boy, gang. Don't try to make it seem like you just pull all the bitches here and there, you know what I'm saying, for Like, stop it. <laughs> Shout out Drizzy though, he getting to the bag. No salt on my uh end. I just really don't like how people, it be the younger generation too. Everybody under 26, 27, y'all little motherfuckers be lost and retarded. Y'all wanna make fun of Wayne cause how he looking shit now, I guess he done, that's them drugs so folk. Like he got his dreads all, you know what I'm saying? Uneven and blind and shit. But I'm like folks, if, if, if Wayne didn't put Drake out, you wouldn't know Drake right now. And then Wayne is still getting paid off Drake and Nicki. That's why he ain't been putting out music. Like he's seeing money, money off them. Like Drake and Nicki together probably is worth like five, six hundred million, easy. And all everything they drop, he getting a percentage of. Like you know what I'm saying? That was his structured deal, and they still in the deal. And it ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? That matter of fact, they had resigned, did they little shit or whatever back years ago, and they still was with Wayne. They ain't have to go with Wayne. They could have. Now, Drake for sure he got a he got a venture deal. He's still under the Young Money Emerald em, Emerald, however you say that word. But uh, he got a major label back him too. If I'm not mistaken, it rap a lot. Matter of fact, he got three. Cause but rap a lot. Uh, Jay Prince is really like just his manager though. You know he need the protection because he not from that. He not cut from that cloth. He ain't no gangsta out here or whatever. Not to say that's what you gotta be. But folks is making that bag though. Definitely can't hate on it. Uh, Drake is top five Damn the top three With the rap shit right now But I had a discussion With my little peoples yesterday And they like man Drake is harder than I'm like Bro All y'all watching this Go back to Wayne If y'all don't know What Wayne did It's more than just She licked me like a lollipop Folks got mixtapes That niggas can't fuck with gang Like he had a whole The first off The dedications One through what six Then he had the squad Mixtapes One through five or six or whatever just them two sets of mixtapes alone should, should show you wayne cannot be fucked with on bar wise and a lot of that shit 80 percent of that shit he was freestyling folk and was killing it wayne had this shit from 02 to 12 2012 wayne was that nigga like his time just passed and he like he really didn't want to rap no more especially after this shit happened with baby folk baby is a slime ball ass nigga gang because how you gonna let Young Thug shoot at your supposed to be son? Like, that's an outside nigga. That nigga from Atlanta, folk. Wayne is a nigga you came up with. And just because y'all having a disagreement, you let that nigga Pee Wee, you know what I'm saying, shoot up your son to a bus, he could have hit folks. And folks would be up out of here. Knowing the slimy ass nigga baby is, he fuck around one of the folks up out of here because if Wayne was the death, let me knock him. I ain't know what around, but I don't want, you know what I'm saying, but. If Wayne was to disappear right now, you know how much his masters and shit are that should it be worth? 
he'll be up there. R. Kelly shit is worth nine fifty. Wayne shit is worth at least half of that, five six hundred million, and they gonna have to pay out for Wayne Masters. He a slime ball ass nigga for that game, but I'm all off subject. Yeah, J. G. Ruben. I did. Shit, I don't see nothing wrong with him like have been a singer. Like, like I said, we been knew this years ago. I don't know why it's just not coming back up. I think Dirk might have made a tweet like this singing nigga want to be a drill uh, rapper. <laughs> hey, Dirk, funny as hell. Speaking of Dirk, he just dropped a hard ass track with uh. Lizzie Osama, both of them got off. I'm like, okay, smirk, now you rapping on it. He was actually rapping on that motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, folks, this how you supposed to come. Like, I fucks with it. They both got off on that motherfucker. It reminded me of like how Vine, Vine and Polo G had that track. You know what I'm saying? That, uh, Rob, who take what you tweaking? They both got off on that bitch. I'm like, damn, smirk damn near want to be like, he want that Vine glow around him, but he, Smirk, you just got the bag, my nigga. Just play your position. Get out the streets, folk. You touching 30, you finna be 30 next year, so. Not to say, Smirk ain't even in the streets. I don't know why I said that, but he talking about niggas that be around here. See, a lot of rappers be sneak this and niggas that be around, folk. Like, that be where most of every rapper boys come from. Not just dirt all rappers. They go sneak this thing. I know they only be looking like, this nigga talking about me? But whatever, though, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so shout out Ruby, shout out Smurf, shout out Birdman, shout out Wayne, shout out Young Thug, everybody who I just named. Free that boy Young Thug on that Rico. That's crazy. I didn't know him and YFF, YF and Lucci had beef like that, folks. Like, they been beefing too for years. Damn near seven, eight years. I'm like, ah, that shit getting a little deep. But yeah, man, y'all jump in that comment box. Let me know how y'all feel about J.A.G. Ruger. Being a singer and a rapper too, like he didn't blow up off the singing shit, but he blew up off the rapping shit, and that was partially because he got on that exposing me with dirt that took him all the way up. They like, who is this, folks? And only reason really Kanye put Ruga on that on his CD is because Duck died. If if that was Duck, Duck would have, you know what I'm saying? And Duck was just a month away, a month or two away. If he could have survived to after that shit happened with Vaughn, he'd have been good because the old wouldn't have been able to catch him. And it's so fucked up though, cause I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but everywhere Duck went, he had four or five shooters with him. Just that day, he thought he was gonna pop in and pop out, pop out. You know what I'm saying? Didn't work like that. And then niggas do not go downtown, folks, to do no hit. Like that shit was crazy. They was asking to go to jail. First off, they if, if they had just hit Duck in the hood on 63rd or anywhere just on the south or the west or whatever, man, they that shit still be unsolved. Boy, I've never be out and all that shit. But yeah, man, I'm going too long on this video. I'm gonna be dropping back to back all week, next week, all month, all year. I'm coming with at least two videos a day. I'm back on my shit, gang. Fuck that. I see my subs steady going up slowly but surely. Y'all get me to that 1K, I'm gonna have a 50, 75 dollar giveaway to a loyal fan that's always in my, you know what I'm saying? That's always watching my shit and commenting on all my videos. It's like three or four, yeah. I know for a fact that I got in mind. I might slide all oh, y'all yeah, 50. Y'all drop y'all cash out, but y'all get me up to that 1K. Share my shit and get me out here, gang. But, um, yeah, let me jump in that comment box. Let me know how y'all feel about Ruben and that situation. Y'all think, oh, he a goofball for being a singer? Or you feel like folks is just multi-talented?